Sports Professor Rick Haro, inside the $1.3 trillion business of sports with the Maxwell matchups, the top three games this week with off-field implications, brought to you by the Maxwell Football Club. Number one, when Georgia travels, probably you could say, to Florida for the world's largest cocktail party, it's in Jacksonville, TIA Bank Stadium, and it is a battle that started in 1904, uh, annual effectively 1933, and on it always has impact in the SEC, especially in the east side. When you think of it, this is a game that's going to be changing. Jacksonville, by the way, provides the city a million to a million and a half to each team to reimburse their travel because the economic impact is so great. Also, as far as the stadium is concerned, major renovations to it in the next few years. Got to find a home for the game while those renovations are being done. There won't be a problem finding that home. Number one, Florida and Georgia. Number two, number 20, Duke, and number 18, uh, Louisville. Yeah, it's a great ACC basketball match. Oh, oh wait, this is, this is football. It's tremendous as far as a 5-2 and two Duke and 6-1 and one Louisville, both significant economic impact in their respective communities. Jeff Brom, small business bonanza for the University of Louisville and the surrounding environs. As far as Duke is concerned, the Durham Convention and Visitors Bureau has talked about a $4 million economic impact when game day visited the football side of the campus recently. The bottom line is this is a tremendous matchup in any context. It certainly will be on the football field this week. That's number two. Finally, number one, number eight, Oregon, number 13, Utah. Yeah, great Pac-12 conference tournament event to see who actually plays in the championship. Final year, six teams ranked in the top 25. What an incredible year for them. Oregon, according to anonymous sources, has by far the best NIL collective of anybody in the Pac-12, as some say. Phil Knight behind it, clearly. And Bo Nix, one of the reasons why he's able to transfer from Oregon uh, to Oregon from Auburn, because he's making a million four in NIL money high on the charts, certainly in the top five. On the other side, Utah's collective has promised each scholarship athlete a Ram 1500 Bighorn truck, something unheard of a few years ago. Now it's normal. Clearly, everybody feels bonded with the collective and the dollars it generates. Sports Professor Rick Haro, the Maxwell matchup, the top three games with off-field implications. Brought to you by the Maxwell Football Club. Have a good week, everybody.